We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Hey, hey, hey. Right. <laughs> this is God Forbes.com. Okay, God Forbes.com. Talk Live Radio. What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> How y'all doing? This can is a. I can hear you, girl. You're good. fine. All right. Let me put this together. Get it together, girl. You're on. That's all right. Already. Why are you having to Wait, start no, no, no. this show? Mm-hmm. What happened? What give you what? So I can hear you, boy. How y'all doing? Happy Sunday. It's Trisha Man Grant and Ro. And we're going to work this thing out right now because, you know, that's what happens. Stuff happens. And you just keep going. So I'm going to put on these I'm big, laughing, beautiful I'm headphones. Because like I originally had the big ones. Right. Like I don't downside. want to talk about it. <laughs> Excuse me one moment while I work on getting my ringer off. I was in the process. But, you know, wow. our, our engineer, he just took off flight. Oh and we were like, we, you know, I he's like, it. if you get ready. If you guys, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. That's we right. We get ready still. We will name. stay ready. Hi. Lord. But we pray you. Praise <laughs> the Lord. How you doing? All right. So, um. I'm making you sure know, my ringer's off because you know it always goes off. First of all, we just <laughs> want to thank the Covenant Church for coming in uh, two weeks ago, I believe it was, because we did re-air last week. And the Covenant came in here. They did their thing. And Pastor Sanchez and his lovely wife, Yuritza, and um, I just love them. They just really have such a, an amazing heart and a heart for God and the church. And the members came in and also, you know, gave testimonies and talked to us. I think the, talk the us, standout so. thing to me was just the sense of family. You know, it's a small church and it's like everybody uh, plays a supportive role because he had his, his son and his son's new wife. And it, it's a real family affair. But then you have yeah. the family members that aren't re- necessarily related by blood, like mm-hmm. yourself and uh, the other folks in attendance. And, you know, they we had if you're able to if you missed it and you're able to go back. I mean, you just really feel the love and and and. And, and walk in the encouragement that there are awesome church homes out there that will love you, embrace you, celebrate you, and worship together with That's you. Right. They brought the brought the brought the, their keyboard in and the daughter. It's just like really, really, really yeah. sweet yeah. and precious. So we love you, the Covenant Church, who's in Pasadena, you guys. And uh, very soon I'll have up a flyer for you all in another uh, Sunday or two, where you can see all the address and all the information. Now, you know, we don't really want to go to a sour note but we do have to address the things that are yeah, happening it's a in lot going this on. country yep in this world but mainly in our country america and um i have to say you know I, I see a lot of news and i think sometimes you get immune to things but i could not help but be messed up all day after seeing a little four-year-old girl see her mom's boyfriend get shot in the back of the car and it was um it was or just really hearing disturbing. her cry while her mother was she, detained in the back of the police car saying it's okay mommy i'm here but she couldn't even do anything for him you know she sat there and watched him just bleed to death and um nothing was was done immediately for him for care and or even while he was going through it and i don't know about you but i'm so tired of it i'm i'm just sick and tired of it and no two wrongs don't make a right and vengeance is mine say of the lord uh, so and let's can, not turn this yeah. thing into an outright in the streets war situation. And I know some people, a lady walked up to me in the store the other day of another nationality. And she said, it's just a shame what they are doing to your people. And I, I just, I was kind of she taken white? aback, a shame what they're doing to your people. And then she said, good for that guy that shot those cops. It's, it's not good to kill anybody, yeah. period. You know, and now the the whole lynching or what we think is a lynching, but they say it's a suicide and nobody really knows what's going on anymore. But all I know is it has to stop. I'm sick of it. It's, it's, it's a lot of hurt and pain and my heart goes out. My prayers go out to the families and the friends of the people that are just being taken away left and right. Every time you turn around and turn on the news, somebody else is shot and killed uh, unjustly. You know, and as a as America, we boast and talk about being the land of the free. 
you know, and I love what Jesse Williams says. Yeah, you're free, but you know what I'm saying? There seems like to be but a caveat, are but are you really free? And, you <laughs> know, it's you gotten free? so bad where other countries are like, you know, Korea's like, don't come over here talking to us about human rights when you can't even deal with the ugliness of racism that's going on in your own country. Yeah. So don't come over here and tell us how unmade our beds are and how mm -hmm. nappy our kitchens are and how much dishes we got in our sink when you're not even when you're trying to like sweep your stuff under the rug and in the closet and close the door to the ugliness and the reality of what's going on in your homeland. Right. And thank God for technology because, uh, trust me, the only thing new are the cameras that is catching everything because it's been going on. Every, it's, yeah, it's, it's forever. It's been going on for a long time. This is not anything new. Some people say, yeah, we're going backwards. Uh, did we ever really move forwards? Uh, so, or forward. So, all I ask is that everybody out there pray. Just pray, prayer, more power, more prayer, more power. More but also, prayer, let's do power, some self-reflection of how we are to each other. Because on the one hand, we're on this Black Lives Matters movement when other folk kill us. But look at Chicago. You from Chicago. What about blacks on blacks killing us? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's yeah. just not about cops killing our people. We kill our own people. And know? it's not all cops. Let's get that straight. There's some really good police officers out there. My mother was one of them for 22 years in Chicago. And uh, even though she gave a couple of my friends tickets, but, you know, she still <laughs> broke the law. <laughs> she still was a good cop and would never have, uh, you know, done anything this extreme. So, no, it's not all cops, you guys. And uh, and it's not all black people killing black people. But there are, you know, we are having a lot of black on black crime. So I, I'm just I don't know about you, but I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm going to get off my soapbox now with that. And I think, too, along with some self-reflection, and just see within yourself what can you do in your sphere of your community to to evoke a positive change. Stop trying right. to reach for the next county when in your own Jerusalem, in your own zip code, <laughs> stuff is like bananas. It yeah. could just be, you know... Um, you know, taking some some home goods to a, a family who has lost a loved one and not necessarily at the hands of a cop, but it could be mm -hmm. a violence, you know what I mean? Or or leaving something, you know, um, you know, just random acts of love and selflessness and kindness and doing yeah. something as awesome just because that, that sows the seed of support and love mm -hmm. in someone who's hurting. You'd be surprised when people lose a loved one in such a horrendous um, situation. It's like when um. The Covenant family came around the um, family whose uh, son was uh, um, hit Killed. by a car in yeah. the middle of the street. Yeah. It's like people don't realize when you're going through the last thing you're thinking about is cooking meals, shopping. That's right. You know, there's so That's many, right. you know, there's so many putting your actions, putting mm -hmm. workbooks on your actions that mm -hmm. can spread love. Yeah. And what we did was we all had schedules of when we're going to take some food to the family you know my I remember I think mine was six o'clock or you know someone else had a three o'clock or, or if it was a lunch dinner breakfast thing and we did that I think for a few weeks because she, she just didn't have the strength and the energy to take care of her family after losing her son like yeah, that because the one thing that I noticed media and people they're all around you know the you know Philando Castile's people and just siphoning information for the media for the media but you know when a cop was shot you know they have a support system in place they sure you do. know they did it but, after uh uh, was it Alton? Yeah. Got shot in the car and then they, they supported him. Yes, they did. Right away. They supported yeah, him so while support the man systems was sitting are needed there in bleeding place. to and death in the car um so i know we got to probably go yeah, to commercial so we can we, get back to our awesome guests in town we are and there was something else i wanted to say but you know what I, it's good to see you that's all yeah. i'm gonna say right now <laughs> you guys we've got truth in the house truth 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 Facebook, in the house Instagram, you can't see them right now because it's just focused truth. on us but when we come back we come back you're going to see these amazing guys that i had a chance to meet when i was 19 Ooh, years so old I we got to buy about to ourselves that. today yes, oh, yeah. yes. So, blessings to all the families. We love you. We're praying for you. You guys do the same. Put up positive posts on Invite social media. Invite somebody to the party. Put up encouragement on social yeah. media. Let's stop with all the stupidness and send out some love. God bless. Yeah. We'll Trisha Man Grant. Well, Williams. Gospel Rhythms. Heaven's Party here on Earth. We'll see you, you in a minute. Right. Consider this an invitation. Come and kick it and party. We're revolving the way. We deliver the gospel. Same message. Different method. Redefine the apostles. Huh? And through Christ, we're empowered to shine. Everybody's VIP. Ain't no way in the line. Gospel Rhythms. We make the world jam, the beat to which we live, we about to take the land, let them know about Jesus, the anointing.
magic gun. Gave his power and authority to get it done. He opens doors, so you don't gotta kick him down. I wrote this to remind you, so stick around. Hi, this is Dr. J inviting you to join us every Tuesdays at 11 a.m. for the Happy Health Radio Show. Join us as we discuss issues affecting your health and well-being, where we listen, analyze, and talk with a heart. So don't forget to tune in to Happy Health Radio Show every Tuesdays at 11 a.m., exclusively on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B, Radio Flag, TuneIn Radio, Live 365, AHA Radio, TiVo Radio, and Apple TV Radio, or just watch and listen directly at latalklive.com. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening and viewing pleasure. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Hey, hey, shout us out. What's the count? I'm your host. I am WDC. Tune in to WDC Radio on LA Talk Live every Saturday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time for sickle cell trade awareness, lupus, bullying, mental health, and all different aspects of life. So tune in to WDC Radio right here on LA Talk Live. Also, you can listen to us on iTunes, Live 365, YouTube, and Ustream. And don't forget Apple TV and Roku right here on LA Talk Live where we're more than just talk. Shout us out. What's the count? You are listening to the sound of truth. Truth. Yes. All right. Trisha and Ro back. Gospel rhythm, guys. We are back. I got to just say to we. Oh, you don't have your headphones? Oh, Oh, you got the little ones. You want to trade with me? I feel like a Martian. Well, while you're doing that, I'm just going to say. John John did not want to trade with me. I'm feeling some type of way about that. (laughs) Did you you guys ever meet Von Harper, Quiet Storm, WBLS in New York? We just got to give him some love right now. Yeah, I'm going to need you to actually rest in heaven. Yes. Uh, this song takes me yeah. there. Really he, nice he just guy. passed. Yeah. Yeah. He gave us a lot of support over there. He wow. was the DJ Quiet Storm. Yeah, yeah, this was a Quiet Storm, storm jam, so baby. This is to you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to introduce these guys properly right now. All right, and we actually still may possibly have a few more coming in, but let me give you guys the call in number first 323 473 3100. That's 323 473 3100. I want you all to call in and ask questions and, and talk to these young men. And uh, right now, actually, let me, and, and it's a lot, so we're only going to give a little bit and then talk about the rest. <laughs> but uh, while still in their teens, Stephen Russell Hartz, Rodney Benford, John Harold, and Reggie Warren, aka Troop, yeah. scored big with their self titled Atlantic debut album, which yielded the number one RB hit, Mama Seat. And the top 10 R&B tune, My Heart. Troop's follow-up album, 1989's Attitude, struck RIAA gold, propelled by two number one singles, Spread My Wings, and All I Do Is Think of You. Preach, preach, girl, preach, preach. <laughs> Love that one. Entering a music industry that at the time already had the great success of other male R&B groups, Troop had their work cut out for them with distinguishing themselves from the rest. But from the moment that they made their official entrance into the industry, Troop quickly set themselves apart from other groups with their captivating harmony and explosive dance styles. All right, so look, we're going to just get straight to it because I have so much I want to talk to to John John and to Steve about. So you guys, right now, put your hands together wherever you are in this world and welcome Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've always wanted to whistle like now. that. How do you do that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, teach me later. <laughs> That's going to be a minute. Man. Steve can whistle real loud and high and man. all kind of stuff. <laughs> Look, I hear Steve <laughs> likes pigeons yes. and you train them. Yes. And you train them to come back to you. And if they don't, then you punish them. No. You mean no, mean daddy. <laughs> so, so tell me, how'd you get. does more punishing than I do. Oh, what? <laughs> how, how did you get into. You the, said a hawk? The yeah. pigeons. Yeah, you have know. a hawk? No, I don't. 
hawks exist. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> you mean if the hawks I got into pigeons yeah. at I was seven years old, mm-hmm. um, and a friend of mine asked, "Did I want to see his brother's birds?" And I said, "Yeah." And he he took me to his brother's house, and I saw these beautiful pigeons. I was used to seeing ugly pigeons, <laughs> regular <laughs> pigeons, and I saw a bunch of white ones, brown and white. I just saw some beautiful birds and. Um, he flew some, and the birds uh, the birds that I deal with are Birmingham roller pigeons. They do backward somersaults really fast. Like, wow. Like backwards flips, you know. So when I wow. saw that, it just blew me away. I had and no uh, idea pigeons were so talented. Very. <laughs> the right ones. The I, right. You know, one time I was going to choir rehearsal. I was at Faithful Central wow, at perfect. the time, and uh, I was going to choir rehearsal, and I saw this pigeon laying in the road. So I pulled over. And, you know, I just love animals and I just I don't want to see him get killed. And it seemed I knew he was still alive and he was walking. And so I saw these guys. I said, can you help me get the pigeon to the sidewalk? They said, like, ma'am, it's a pigeon. I said, but it's still a bird and he's still alive. And we got to get him. I don't want him to get killed. Isn't that sweet? That's very sweet. (laughs) So uh, now, now, John, John, I hear you have uh, you're working on a solo album or something, right? Well, well, yes, yeah. yes, but uh, just right now, just you know, releasing singles here yeah. and there from okay. iTunes and Amazon, Google yeah. Play. Both you guys it. have yeah. solo. Yeah. Uh, okay, what? So you want to name them real quick? Go ahead, Jay. Um, shoot. Well, Steve, he got two of them, and he's working yeah. on his third one. And okay. his third one is going to take you back. Mm-hmm. An incredible uh, album that he's been playing for us. You know, working on it and everything. Right. Uh, what? Uh, what's, the, what's the title of it? Sixties Baby. Oh, it's cold blooded too, y'all. Nice. Y'all gonna what, love it. What's the name of yours? Uh, John John Chosen. Chosen. Still right. category R and B. Yes. Wow. Nice. Well, now you guys. I mean, I was talking to uh, off before we aired, of course. Um, you guys are still did you friends. You're still close. <laughs> oh, Trisha, man, great. She got three names. She's How like, could I, I forget? I, well, right they, they, well, we on the air, so I just pointed to you. I figured everybody one. could figure that right one. This one right here. Wow. And, um, yes. you know, I, I definitely want to uh, get a little insight on, you know, how you guys came together. But the amazing thing, after all these years, you guys are are still friends and, and still mm-hmm. close. And, you know, a lot of girl groups disband and 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 uh, don't endure the friendship um, as it seems the male groups do. So could you tell, give us some insight well, on what was that? Well, we've 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 lost a member. You did. <laughs> you have four remaining members. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, which is wonderful. Um, but it's hard, you know, um, mm. when you're when you're young and you're driven for something. Um, you attract that same thing, and that's what we did. We attracted people with the same energy and the same drive. And um, once your vibrational frequency changes, things change, hmm. you know. So um, once we reached a certain amount of success, and people grew and were different people than what they were before, when you started out, everything yeah. changes, you know. Mm. That's just how it is. Do you think you all ever come together again to work on a project? Who knows? Yeah, who, yeah, who knows? But know. the situation is that what happens is that you grow from not being on the same page as the others are, um, and I, I think that's what pretty much what happened with us. I mean, the four of us still wanted to just you know, still do and be who we are, you know, and get out there on that stage and work like we work and, you know, and have fun like we have fun. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, when, when you're doing it as one, sometimes it just happens with every four or five. There's sometimes, there's even groups out there that started out as three guys and now it's not even three guys anymore. Right. So it, it it's just, I don't know, just sometimes just stuff just happens and it just doesn't you work apart. for whatever. Yeah, you just you grow, grow apart. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's talk about when you guys got together, because I know so many people ask you that same question. How would you all get together? And pretty much you all have this story. And from what I understand, Mm -hmm. one will go, no, no, it didn't happen like this. It happened like Mm -hmm. this. But from what I can recollect, let's see, it started in uh, a show. It was uh, the lip sync show, putting right? Putting on the hits. Putting mm-hmm. on the hits. You remember that, sis? Put, you remember put, putting put, on the hits? You mean that was the, 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 the precursor to uh, uh, LL show? 
Ah, <laughs> I guess so because it was a lip sync show. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know what I'm like, you know saying? Like, like Star Search was, was to American yeah. Idol. With yeah. True. I didn't yeah. even think that there was. Okay, yeah. okay I remember so putting was. on the hits. Okay, putting mm-hmm. on the hits, and then was it Rodney? Yep. Rodney was Rodney there, and, Reggie. and Reggie. so Rodney and Reggie. And just then for the some record, guy, I wasn't mm-hmm. born yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whatever. And so, right. And so Rodney and Reggie, they they approached them about, do you guys have who's Rodney and Reggie? Reggie. Well, they're, they're part of the group. Okay, and we're waiting on Rodney. <laughs> we're waiting on Rodney to come, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. so we're not sure about Reggie. Reggie's the one for all those out there that has the stripe. That yeah. has but the, so y'all were lip syncing, yeah. but y'all nobody knew if y'all could really sing. Y'all exactly. just well, that's what the question was. They the producer who saw the show wanted to know if those guys could sing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they couldn't. But they said, yeah. Well, <laughs> so. you're not talking about Rodney and yeah. Reggie. Well, yeah, they were <laughs> they were not a singing group at that time. Okay, yeah. you know. but did they have other guys with them that yes. couldn't sing? It was five so those guys, guys could yeah. not mm-hmm. sing. Okay, yeah. so they had to go find two other guys or three other guys that yeah. actually could sing. Yeah. So they went and got Alan. Well, no, they, I was first. You were first. Then Steve. John, and then John. I went and got Alan. And you mm-hmm. went and got Alan. Okay, and then next thing you know. What was the first hit? Because you Mama guys, Cita. Mama Cita, Mama Cita right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then that looks like that was your favorite Steve. Give your label, real hard about give your label and the writers. <laughs> well, who wrote that? Yeah, Joe yeah. Lavert Martin Gordon. produced that. Yes, yeah. love Joe Lavert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rest yeah. my so big bro. Wow. You know? Yeah. yeah Did you guys something. take a lot of pictures? I know it must have been really yeah. exciting to be in the studio with these mm. what mm. Yeah, legends. That was, <laughs> yeah, was amazing. Uh, Eddie mm. Levert was there the whole time producing mm. vocals and stuff. Were you him. in Ohio? Uh, we were in Philly. 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 Okay. Yeah, we were at Sigma Sound in Philly. Wow. When we cut the first, uh, the first, our first two records with mm. with Levert. Mm. And then you um, went to Delta Studios, DST. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh. Okay, I just had to say that. See, see, I heard Delta just pop in my head. All right, nice. And so, okay, I know you have mm-hmm. studied Hebrew, mm-hmm. and you're still studying Hebrew real strong. Yeah. So when someone says Jesus, you say Yeshua. Y- Yeshua. Okay, so explain uh, to our viewers why, you know, what happened? How you got started in the Hebrew studying, and and why you only say Yeshua? Think about it. <laughs> to be honest, Steve was the one who started, you know, coming around us and talking about Yeshua because God has so many names, mm-hmm. and um, Yeshua is one of his. He just that's just one of his names, but he has so many names. But uh, at the end of the day, he's still the son of the Most High God. Okay. Now, being men of faith today, how did that play a part? Because you're young, you get this new experience of, you know, being in the recording industry mm-hmm. that is yeah. was at the time, it wasn't easy to get in, you no, know. I know I was on a label uh, that uh, family signed Brandy and she had rejection letters from like Motown. Like, oh, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Yeah. And so, so we about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, seriously. And so, um, you know, how did um, your faith or, or, or were you even thinking about God at the time? Or you guys were just wide-eyed and excited about being in the business? Or what was the catalyst moment that kind of drew you closer to God? Well, we were, um, you know, we were, we were all raised Christian. Mm-hmm. So at that time, you know, we stood on our faith. But um, we were, outside of religious law, there's universal laws that are always in effect. And we were more, now that I'm an adult, we were just as much using universal law as we were using religious belief Mm -hmm. because we rehearsed every day when we were on the sidewalk and on the streets we saw ourselves on stage and the universe had to give us that because we had already accepted that we were that Mm -hmm. thing you in universal law once you accept something as it is and you feel as it is it will be No That's question. only faith. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yeah, because the only way that faith you can't have faith if you're not doing anything. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's it's equal to faith almost, you know, but it's just the law of attraction, period. That's all it is. Yeah. Okay. So what about Rodney? I know he's not here and, and Reggie, their beliefs. I mean, I'm assuming you guys got together. You all prayed. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. All the time. Still do. Oh, okay. All the time. Still, still do. Still that was yeah. a big okay. part of. A big mm-hmm. part of all of it. Of everything. Okay. Rehearsals and everything. Just, you know, yeah. 
So talk to me like I'm five because I really don't. When when people start talking about universe and stuff like mm-hmm. that, I mean I understand you know laws of attraction. I I, I you get understand it. the law of gravity, right? The law of gravity, law you of know attraction. how real that is. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I also know how real Jesus <clears throat> is. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <And> you. <Yeshua. laughs> <laughs> but so so I I try to understand you know when they're saying universe, um, where does God, the creator of the universe, come into that because, see, the universe didn't just create itself. Well, the universal all that is, is God. That is God. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's nothing outside of the all, period. The all is God. In religion, you're given perceptions of God, so you have to be careful because Jesus is God. You have Lord gods. You have mm-hmm. a bunch of different gods. If you pay attention, there's different gods. Mm-hmm. And you have to, if you're going to be religious, you got to do due diligence and, and understand this religion that you're in. It, most of us are just in it because mm-hmm. it was passed to us. Mm-hmm. I could ask I could ask some questions about Jesus right now and I, and I could not get some answers. Mm-hmm. No, you, know? you, you probably could. So. But, the, you know, I guess because of my personal experiences since I was a little girl yeah. and having to call on the name of Jesus mm-hmm. and seeing the actual power in the name of Jesus and how I share these testimonies yeah. with everyone that is why that's I, awesome that's yeah. why I say Jesus because yeah. well, I also seen think it too happening and it's an for amazing. me it's about relationship because religion messed me yeah. up. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. not religion. Yeah. Yeah. religion. I, 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 I done but walked out some churches and was like, I, at the, at the, at the okay. tender age, I was in, the, in the elementary school and I was like, Daddy, I'm only child. I, your, your children are a trip. As far as I'm concerned, it's just me and you on this journey. Yeah. Right. Yep. And uh, so what I, but really understanding the dynamic of a relationship because we're created beings, you know, and you created your, mm-hmm. you and your loved one, your husband, your wife created life, a child. You want to be in relationship with that child. Child, at least you're, you're organically supposed to instinctively want that mm-hmm. because you brought that into the world and you want the best for it. Nobody brings a life into this world saying, when you grow up, I hope you're a failure. When you grow up, I hope you don't succeed. <laughs> oh, when you grow up, I hope you're poor. When you grow up, I hope you experience yeah, yeah. that verbal abuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. But, I, but, but I'm saying, you yeah. know, yeah. just instinctively. instinctively. Yeah. It's not now. <laughs> you may not have been taught and you might have passed down abuse to that mm. child, but just, just to say, say for argument's sake, yes. like who would want to do that? You don't want to be that person that's been brought in this world to be told you're going to fail. And maybe some of you out there have, but there's the Father. Mm-hmm. God the Father, God the Son, God the You know why Spirit. we call him the Father? Mm-hmm. Why do we call him the Father? Well, um, in ancient times, um, the, the earth has always been considered mother, always. Mm-hmm. And when it would rain, they, because things would grow from rain, um, ancient people saw that as uh, like fertilization, like uh, sperm. Hmm. And that's why ultimately we call the universal all that is father is because of that. You got that radio voice over there, Steve. You have to keep getting into the mic. Oh, pull that microphone up close to you so we can hear you better. <laughs> Am I talking too low? No, no, no. Uh, yes. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm being smooth with I was it. trying not to talk too loud. <laughs> oh, no, no. You're good. You're good because I know uh, Richard probably had to turn you up a little okay, bit. Okay, my fault. I think, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, it, it's something else that you do. I don't know which one of you guys know. It's Rodney that is he the chef? Yes. Him and Reggie. Oh, okay. Reggie, Reggie yeah, has got chef. a sausage business, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty he, cool. Have you all really, really cool. Oh, yeah. yeah is it really good? Yeah, he's good. So why didn't y'all bring us some? He's not here. We're hungry. He got all the good. I like the setup. I yeah, like you like that? Oh, that's my cool. God. I'm looking for some sausage over <laughs> right. here. Okay. And, and all right. And you are starting with this retro thing in the 60s. That's probably why you named yeah. your song. 60s Baby. 60s yeah. Baby. Yeah. So what's up with the 60s thing? Well, I, um. Uh, I've been writing and producing songs for a lot of people for the past 15 years. Wow. And uh, right now where music is, I'm not going to be forced to per- to participate in what I'm not feeling. So, um, <laughs> you know, just being a, a, a researcher, studier type of person that I am, you know, I found out that our future lies hidden in our past. 
Mm-hmm. So I just I just went back and um, I went back to all the music that felt good to me. I didn't remake it, but I just I, I absorbed the feeling and the vibe of of the 60s, the early stacks, early Motown sound. And I just uh, my new my new album is. It's it's gonna sound like I'm right out of Motown, right out of Stax. Okay, you know? and yeah. so thus the nice necklace is is that part of the '60s vibe going on? Well, no, this What's this, this is amethyst, and you know, um, last year, last year my mom transitioned, and this stone absorbs a uh, grief, griefful, sadness type mm-hmm. of energy. Yeah, um, and so I'm sorry about for. that. I remember because yeah. you were supposed to come on the show, and right before I think your mom passed. Yeah. So, yeah. Ouch. I, you, I know. You know, people don't understand that everybody has a mourning process, and really? you cannot put a time limit on how long someone mourns. No. You know, even people who mm-hmm. lose a baby to miscarriage. They will have friends and family members say, get over it. Get over yeah. it. You yeah. can have another baby. Well, they don't understand this person is mourning yeah. and you've right. got to let people mourn. Mm-hmm. You're going to have good days. And you're going to have bad days. Mm-hmm. It, it's just that's what comes with it. You know, he lost his mom last year. I lost my mom last year. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have good days. We're going to have bad days. That's just a part of life. Right. Yeah. I mean, the biggest you lose thing is, a loved one like that. Your mom? Yeah. yeah I mean, come, so, that's really big. And yeah. what, what happened to both moms? What? Well, my mom was colon cancer. Colon cancer. Yeah. My mom lung cancer. Oof. Well, yeah. you know, it's it's I'm amazing, so too, because yeah. um, you guys had each other to support. You know, it's right. nothing yeah. like, yeah. Not, you know, having the support of someone who understands firsthand what you're going through. When I lost my brother, I was able to call my best friend down the street. I used to walk with her. We we used to train for the marathon every Sunday. And I, I just love how God sets things up. And she lost her sister to AIDS. And she would always talk about, you know, her experience and going through it, even though it had been a number of years, like six or so years. Yeah. Um, yeah. But she would always like walk in her memory and do things in the memory of her sister. And yeah. it, I, I remember I was on my way to work and I got the news about my brother. This was in 2001. And I sat on my steps and I was like, now I know the weight of hurt that she carried every time we would go out there. And because I couldn't relate, Mm -hmm. you know, I didn't know the pain, you know, um, and uh, yeah, it is. But sure. but God always sends you uh, Aaron to help you keep your mm-hmm. arms up and, 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 yeah. and help you through. Um, I think there's something a scripture in the Bible that talks about, you know, we bear one another's burdens. Mm-hmm. So what are the, the main things that each of your moms taught you that you will live by for the rest of your lives and mm-hmm. even try to teach mm-hmm. others? Wow. Uh, well, uh, my mom, I was I was the only child. It was just me and my mom. So you know, she was always uh, she always wanted me to be a man. You know, mm. uh, she always wanted me to do manly things and think like a man and operate as an adult, mature man. You know, so um, that's probably one of the main things. You know, that she's always wanted me to think straight and not be a follower. You know, um, she took when Jesus said that the multitudes won't make it. She took that serious and she never wanted me to think she don't. She never wanted me to even act like I was a part of a too many other ways of people thinking. Mm -hmm. So I don't, you know, um, Mm -hmm. I'm totally reeducated myself. I've studied all the religions a couple of times. It's it's not a joke. Um, We take on belief like it's a piece of candy Mm -hmm. and it feels good. Um, but most black people don't realize we come from people that were into knowing. We didn't come from people that believed we had God. We walked with God, but we're so far down the line. All we have is what's given us. You know, we come from people who knew they did not have to believe. When you ask somebody who knows, does God exist? It's almost insulting because it's so evident by everything that you see that there's oh there's a higher there's a creator there's a yeah. creator period oh, you know yeah. beetles have on a vest you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's a creator there's some there's somebody there's did a, this yes you know yeah. and you don't have to believe in that mm. 
you know that that is. So there's no belief attached to that. Mm. That's annoying. Mm. And the one thing that I would love to stress to my people is the difference between belief and knowing because there's a big difference. We settle for belief because a lot of us, we work two, three jobs. We don't have time to do due diligence and spend time researching and finding out to get to know. So we have to rely on belief because we don't have enough time. The music business allowed me thousands of hours of study time hmm. to really get out of this thing that was handed to me. Um, and uh, I'm sitting in a really, really... Uh, free space in my life now that's good um just understanding things and not just perceiving them you know so when you know things happen yeah, when salvation. you know you experience a shift in the atmosphere yes, and yes. and because you're not having one yeah, ounce of doubt there you go Mm-hmm. then yeah. blessings manifest. Yeah, because in belief, we okay. don't really, we haven't accepted the knowledge of anything in that. We believe it. It feels good. Sounds mm-hmm. good. I can mm-hmm. deal with that. I believe that. And if it comes from the right source, you really believe it. If it mm-hmm. comes from mama, I definitely believe mm-hmm. it because she loves me. Mm-hmm. But uh, we have to still ask, how much did mom experience in that? Right. What did what did she really know? You know, my grandmother never said Yeshua Mashiach in her whole life. And she was a de- devout Christian. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. She never once knew that his name wasn't yes, Jesus was. Christ, mm-hmm. that that was a changed given name by European people. She didn't know that his true name was Yeshua Mashiach. And once once I came into the knowledge of this, it. I was thrown just based on the power that you talked about, right? Mm-hmm. Because we prayed, we, we've we prayed and relied on Jesus and felt that power, right? Yeah. But if his name is Yeshua HaMashiach, how much power is in that name? Uh, no, I, I love mm-hmm. that concept. Yeah. And yeah. I've even seen even before knowing that this is what you practice is yeah. saying Yeshua. I've, I've seen it in that's the Bible. It's his name. I mean, that's what Mary said. It's his name. You know, mm-hmm. I think when he was on the cross. Uh, now, John, John, you over here, you texting Yeshua? <laughs> but I want to ask. Him. Him. No, no, but I want to ask. Tell Rodney to hurry up and get here. <laughs> in your catalog of music, I had two questions, but since we're on the uh, talking uh, about spiritual stuff, have you guys done gospel music or or or, or yeah. music along well, I, that line you know what we um on our third uh LP, on the deeper album deeper, yeah we have a song called praise uh, yeah you know, i heard praise. that nice. um i have a gospel song on my album it's a remake by the whining um nice. straighten my life out again i okay. uh, love that oh uh, man um but <laughs> yeah i think also too as a matter of fact we have like a I would say it. Uh, it would be gospel spiritual. The song "A Melody" from the uh, Oh yeah, Mayday album. yeah, yeah, wow. um, yeah. Because that's nice. what that's what was written about. Yeah. God. yeah. Uh-huh. So we're gonna get you guys to before we end the show in a little bit. You guys gonna give us a little something, something, right? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so you have a minute to think about it because we want to <laughs> we want to leave everyone with a treat right. from okay. Troop. Now you didn't get a chance to tell us what your mom taught you oh, wow. that you share with the world. I um. First of all, she taught me, you know, family. Uh, I sang with her, my brother, and my two sisters, and we sang as a family Mm -hmm. in church when we were kids. And, you know, and this past year, uh, I watched the, um, the, uh, I think it was the the BET Gospel uh, Celebration, Mm -hmm. and it reminded me of everything what my mom had taught me Mm -hmm. just by watching that show because it was all about gospel and how, Everything about was God about gospel. My mom taught me all of that. So yeah. when I was watching the show, I, I actually got a chance to like really sit back and start, you know, to think back like what, wow, what my mom has done for me, really, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you know, by that situation. So yeah, my yeah. mom taught me a lot about that. Okay, that yeah. that is a wonderful thing, and I love I love everything you both said, and thanks, Steve, for uh, sharing with such passion. And I and I see it. the peace mm-hmm. all over you, and that's that is such a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, but but you're right. I mean, I I may try that too because I'm always calling on Jesus. And I remember one time this man was running across the street at me with mm-hmm. his arms 
just in the air, flailing, wailing, just wailing. He was coming at me making some strange noise. Wow. Look, I'm on the phone with a friend. I said, look, girl, hold on. I, I got to do something. <laughs> and I stretched my hand out and I said, I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I plead the power of the blood of Jesus. And the man just kind of just started going real slow. And then he went, and went around the corner. Then I had another guy walk up to me with my kids in the park. And he was cussing out my child and saying mean things. And he started coming at me real fast. I said, Lord, I start praying. I don't have a knife. I don't have a gun. I don't have any mace, Jesus. What am I going to do? And then within an instant, I turned around. He was just as close as you are to me right now. And I stretched my hand out. I said, I plead the power of the blood of Jesus over you right now. And he stopped in his tracks, turned around like a robot. And walked back the other way. I've got millions of those stories. But you know why that works? <laughs> yeah. Because you believe in it. Yeah, that's I, I was going to say. Because I your, know. <laughs> your, 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 belief, your belief becomes your reality. Yeah. Regardless mm-hmm. to what it is you believe. If you believe you're too short. You're going to be th- too short. <laughs> yeah. well, how, do you, how do you fight against the stream of your own internal doubt? You know what I'm saying? Well, like you believe, uh, but then time is competing with your belief and time is rolling on by mm-hmm. and you should be watching the S O N Dow, but you're watching the S U N Dow and it's just a conflict <laughs> within the battle within well, it. You can't seem to win. Hey, you know, I was a rapper, so Well you know, the whole thing is not, about MC. alignment. The whole thing is about um getting to a point where uh you trust the peace of God that he put in you. See, a lot of us believe that we have uh, we're outside of God we believe that we're outside of him trying to get his approval get his this get his that not realizing that that warm when you blow on the back of your hand do you mm-hmm. feel that mm-hmm. let me see yeah it's a little hot that's there. that source you got a mint that source that's <laughs> that's your source energy that's your soul that's okay. your higher self that sh- that gives you proof that it's there because it's alive and it's, it's mm-hmm. a flame burning in you right now. Mm-hmm. Your higher source is your immediate connect to the higher source. You know, OK, if 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 we get an alignment with ourselves, we would have a much easier relationship with the most high. But we're Amen. not taught that. No. We're not taught to put ourselves in that equation. We just look to God. But there's a higher source, the higher self that's with you. When somebody's waking you up in the morning, uh-huh. you notice how you have to come back. Come back. You right? notice how you have to gain <laughs> to get back into groggy. this physical body mm-hmm. to wake up to come back. Mm-hmm. You were not in it. Mm-hmm. You were gone. Mm-hmm. We're not taught this. We were taught that mm-hmm. you had a dream. Mm-hmm. You know, we're, we're, reality is pushed out of the way in a lot of our education. Mm. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, you can real deep. Well, no, you can deep, but yeah. I, I just, 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 I just, to, just to, to go there with you okay, a little bit deeper. I, astral mean, projection is pretty much it's very real. what you're talking yeah, about, but, that's real too. but we're not supposed to practice it. Because, you, you know, for those that don't know, astral <laughs> projection is when your spirit comes out of your body. No, we're not. Because when your body is lying there it's, dormant, it leaves other, whether you want other, it to or not. Well, That's not something I'm trying to practice because once you do, then and and it, and I don't know where in the Bible, so don't ask me. But I know I have seen it. <laughs> this is not of God for His will for us because we not, got a collar. Not His will we for us listen. to practice this because <laughs> when you're there, see where there's good, there's evil. We, mm-hmm. Okay, hold on now. When there's good, there's we got a collar. Yes, yeah, I'm trying oh, to tell okay. you. We got a collar. We got a collar. We stick a pin in that. I'm gonna stick a pin in that. Yeah. Hi, welcome to GospelRhythms.com. <laughs> Hello, radio. Who's, uh, tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hello. Hello. That's like Rodney. <laughs> Rodney. Rodney, uh, are you on the 405? This is Rodney B. This is Rodney B. <laughs> What's, What's up, Rodney B? Rodney, Rodney B. B. This is another member I'm of trying, Truth. Yeah. I'm, trying to get in, I'm trying to get in where I fit in. Hey, man. <laughs> so listen, how far away are you? Because, you know, we got 10 minutes left almost. <laughs> Wait, Richard is shaking his head like it ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why you asked. Yeah, I know, right? 10 minutes left. Sure. You, yeah, you still at home, <laughs> Rodney. He laughing. How home. you doing, Rodney? I'm okay. I'm 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 good. I'm good. Um taking care of myself and um I'm good. I'm okay, good. How are that's you? good. I'm good. Sitting here enjoying this wonderful conversation. Beautiful. Me and Steve gonna have to yeah. talk outside the door. Yeah. Uh but but Beautiful. enjoying these guys and just loving the journey that you guys mm-hmm. had and we'll have to have you all back on the show, all of you, so we can really go deeper into your journey in the music business. But uh I know that you and Reggie are the reason why 
why oh, yeah. uh, Truth got started. Yeah, and yeah. then y'all went and got Steve, and, and then he went and got uh, uh, John John, and we went and got Alan. Yeah. So, and then Truth began. So, oh, thank yeah. you for for uh, moving vision. forward and yeah. vision and putting things into motion. Congrats. Well, you're, 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 you're welcome. And I want to apologize for not making it there, but I called in and I Boo. want a little, uh, a little <laughs> bit of credit for that, but I should have been there, but I couldn't. <laughs> That's all right. We forgive you this time. Don't do it again. Rodney you got to come back. Our, 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 <laughs> I would yeah. say Rodney is our head yeah, choreographer you know, and our you, Otis Williams of the group. Oh, shut up. You, you do the choreography? Okay. Yeah. Where'd you get those skills from? Mama, daddy, sister, brother? Who'd you, who'd you get that talent from? Steve. John John. John John. <laughs> so you gave him the talent and he teaches you the choreography. That is very interesting, Rodney. Okay. <laughs> I, I know I'm in it. Yes. Yes. Hey Rodney, you yeah. know Tanya's yeah. uh Tanya's in here. I want you to say hi to your publicist. You guys publicist Miss Tanya Carmouche is in the house. She's in the studio. Hey, hey. I know, right? Hey, 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 what's up, Tanya? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he said, "Hey, hey, hey." Okay, so uh, what are you? What are you working on? I hear you're a chef and you like to cook, right? Yeah, um, uh-huh. I'm not a I'm not, I'm not a chef, mm-hmm. but I cook. I think I cook pretty good, and I take my time, and I I like my seasonings and my my. <laughs> I like cooking, so I, I don't know if I'm a chef, but oh, I, he's I, so I you like it. Oh, sure. he is modest. I love you, it. You okay. like Somebody it. was you hoping like for a plate. For sure. Somebody was hoping for a plate. Her name is Trisha Man Grant. That would be me. Which means that the next time you come and you're here, hey, maybe before we can have the a show, show. we're gonna have yeah, we're gonna have cooking a cooking show, and I'll be your critic, your food critic. So you make sure you bring all that okay. stuff that you put all those seasonings on, okay? You, all right, what well, you like? Huh? What you like? Everything. Everything that except for pork. And beef. Okay, fish. I love fish. I'm a salmon and, and oh, I love sea bass. Mm-hmm. Mountain sea bass is the best. I do. I do love everything. Everything that's good and edible, okay? So you make sure that happens. Y'all call Reggie and tell Reggie, okay. you know, you tell Reggie that I'm not happy that he didn't make it because I, you know, of course, I wanted to tell my fun story of how when I was Miss Black Chicago back in right. <laughs> in the year that was not Miss no, hey, Rodney Black Chicago. And so, yeah, and Chicago. So, I can't remember how, uh, but I ended up I ended up hanging out with you guys all night in your limo or something. Y'all remember that? And yeah. yes, you do, because y'all said you did. You said you did at the party. Thank all right. They just lied to me. Y'all lied on gospel rhythms. Sure, y'all remember. telling the truth on gospel rhythms. She lied to me at the party. And so uh, I hung out. Uh, wait, huh? He's laughing. Oh, yeah. and so, anyway, I, I hung out and then we ended up going to one of those clubs in Chicago. I can't remember. The what name year of was it. This, this was ninety, man. In 90s, it was nineteen ninety. Okay, in nineteen ninety. All I do is spread my wings. We spread had. No, spread you my do. Wings. You had Sweet November because that's the song no, that I danced with Reggie to. Oh, was that ninety? Yeah, that's ninety. No that's way. What, yeah. If Sweet you're talking November about Sweet November, yeah. If Sweet you're talking November? about Sweet November, that's later. Yeah, that was our third. What other one? All I do is think of you. When did that come out? You know, those are my like favorite That's ninety. Yep. Really? So I had passed my reign. I thought I was walking around wearing my sash and everything. Okay, that's sad. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> anyway, I was hanging out with these guys. That's awesome. And yeah, that's, uh, yeah. I had a dance with Reggie. And I remember the girl came knocking on the limo. You sure window. it was Troop he was hanging it out was with? Because they don't remember you. You know, I'm going to need you. I just, remember. You just we remember. remember. <laughs> we remember. <laughs> we remember. And so yeah, clouded, you're trying. You're being funny now. And so <laughs> the girl was y'all knocking was on the window. Edition. She was like, yo, we but, her? That little skinny girl? Y'all could be with me. And I remember oh she was goodness. ready to beat me up. All that it was the funniest thing, yes. Oh, and then you guys took me back home, and uh, Reggie walked me to the door, and everybody <laughs> was chilling. Uh, you did. But we were uh, hanging uh, out with some other people. I forgot I'm who sorry. they were. They were nice people. Boys, we are. It was not boys. <laughs> DVD? You got jokes. You see this? <laughs> it's about to hit they you. They went out I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a holy beating with this one. It was just us, man. It sounded like you were doing a whole lot in Chicago. I Reggie remembers. Oh, it was man. so nice. They were such gentlemen. That's oh, what yeah. I remember the most is that yeah. you guys were really nice. Security. You yeah. guys were kind, <laughs> wonderful people. Y'all weren't typical. So yeah. I see, she's nah, trying to say nice I was a goofy. We, um, That's yeah. what she's trying to say. Don't laugh at her. Do it not encourage her. All right, all right. I'm, yeah, all right, all right, I'm done. <laughs>
200. You've been uh, sitting here texting the whole time. Uh, <laughs> I better get an answer from God. I'm telling you right now. He He's answering right now. <laughs> He's answering He's right now. He's checking in. That ain't right. Y'all He's like, not baby, right. He's sitting here making postcards with, with our flyers. Are you bored? Is it time to go now? No, wait, wait. We can go out on your song. Now, it's on a deeper album. It's praise, right? Because I found it. Okay. You want to tell us about this song? How how this song become to be before we go out on it? Well, we just... You know, we wanted to pay homage to um, to the Most High. We wanted to, you know, we had made it to a third album, mm -hmm. so we wanted to, we wanted to make sure that that was the first thing that people and and God Himself. We wanted to make sure that we gave that message and that paid that homage first. You right. know, mm -hmm. so that's Beautiful. what it was about. All right. Awesome. Well, we're gonna play it. And then uh, I think we have enough time to let it play out. And then you guys. You uh, got to take a picture of the House of uh, <laughs> Gospel. Reform. But you might have to mute your phone <laughs> there for a minute. Yeah, Rodney, you get some you feedback. at the club or something? What's happening here? What's all this noise in the it's background, Rodney? It's called feedback. <laughs> That's a good title for a track. Y'all can have that one for right, go free. Ahead. Just anyway, so this is praise. We give you all the yeah. praise. Yes, we do. You're in our minds. That's right. You're in our hearts. You keep us strong through our trials and tribulations. Here's our thanks to you. We want to thank you, my father, for giving us the gift to save. It's been so hard for us day by day, but in time, you showed us the way. We thank Jesus, we give you praise. That was nice. Woo! Yes. Hey, I was waiting for that. you all to sing with it. Okay, so that Yay. was beautiful. Is Ronnie still there? You still there? You there, Rock? Right? Yes, all yeah. right. Yeah. So listen, the guys said that they would just do a little something a cappella. So uh, are you going to join in on that? Nope. <laughs> I know that you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good day. <laughs> That's terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris, 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 I mean, I just try, but it's gonna be totally off on the phone. Yeah, dude. you're right. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, yeah, yeah give us cool. some break. Yeah, you know yeah, I'm cool. I'm, I, I was just messing with you. All right, you two, go <laughs> ahead <laughs> and do what you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Been singing all day. Set it up. You've been singing all day. Good. That means your voice is warmed up. Praise Jesus. Uh, anyway, they're great. Okay, Rodney, since you're not singing, I'm gonna need you to just, you know, <laughs> <that down>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's the Amen Praise oh, the no, Lord corner. Let the guys do that thing now. <laughs> she ain't right. Uh, that's, that's funny. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I dropped the mic for you. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. Come on, give me some song. Give me the song that came out three years after my rain. <laughs> That oh my God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> when autumn first arrived, you were my lady, and love was written in the wind to show. Oh, and then with the change of month, there came October. And now I wonder where the love did go. It was the second rain of autumn. We shared a feeling. And it was such such a glorious autumn dream. Yes, it was. But like kids, we were too shy to say to each other, 
that together we would always like to be. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Miss Lou, I know we'll come together. Even though our feelings change the seasons do. But maybe sweet November would tell us the story, yeah, that will bring us back the love that we both knew. I love that one. And and then my husband and I, Tony, you know Tony. All I do is think of you. That's mm-hmm. like our favorite couple wow, song right man. there. Okay. Awesome. Yay. So thank you guys. Awesome. I truly, thank truly appreciate it. Y'all were in the house. Thank you so that much. This amazing. has been the Entertainment Music Edition. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rodney. Thank you. Hello. We heard you come in and, and sing and, and do a little, <laughs> a little something, Hello. something back there. We hear you. We hear you, Rodney. Oh, I was singing. <laughs> uh, I, I, unfortunately, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yes, we saw, we heard that. <laughs> you ain't right, girl. You are not right. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Rodney, because you're not here. Huh? What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> Rodney said, I was doing my note, man. You did your note. note, man. Rodney, we heard your note. Honest <laughs> to God, we did. You guys were just uh, BET. You all have won awards and everything, right? Yeah. You had, was it 10 hit singles? Yeah. and five yeah. hit albums or we um every song we didn't we never released a song that wasn't a hit song wow oh, yeah. it was just wow. internal what stopped our <laughs> flow mm. it was all internal it had mean, nothing to music do with industry our creativity industry yeah. stuff no well industry stuff but our industry stuff you know yeah. um we've you know just because you learn something in the business it doesn't mean you're ready. It's almost like in church. Like if you're if you're learning or being tutored under a, a pastor or a bishop, just because you learn certain things doesn't mean you're ready to be the pastor just yet. Gotcha. Mm. So it was the same. And we jumped to being the pastor too quick once we found out about certain business and certain things that weren't in place. Yeah. You know, because immediately, I mean, Gerald Levert, he was on me. Keith Sweat. I had so many people that took me under their wings and was just because I was always writing. Yeah. And they saw that. So they wanted to make sure that I knew exactly what mechanical royalties was and just all this stuff. So as I brought it back to the group, I say the group, but it was Alan because me and him were the primary writers. So I would bring all this information back to him Mm -hmm. thinking that we would be a a joint team and deal with it as a as a unit. He went crazy. And Mm. the next thing you know, we were one decision led to the next and everything was just a. It just kind of went haywire. Well, man. we hope to see you all wow, stay soon back together. Well, we've been performing we'll for the last, you yeah. know, we've been on tour for the last five years nonstop. Yeah. So okay. we, we you haven't need to stopped let us know when you in LA. We just did the Greek. We just Greek. did the Greek two, a month ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'll definitely find out. And that way yeah. I'll be able to let everybody else know so they can come. Okay. And we can come. You guys. What about Thank us? you very, give, very give much. Give your social media so they can yes. reach out. Cool. <laughs> you you can, know we this is Stephen Russell Hartz. You can follow me on Instagram at <laughs> Stephen Russell Hartz. <laughs> <laughs> Radio <laughs> mode. <laughs> or you, can, you can follow me on Instagram at Stephen underscore speaks. Also on Facebook, Stephen Russell Hartz as well and Stephen Speaks as well. Okay. And my website, www.stevenspeakslife.com. Yes. Yes. Love it. You can reach me at John John Herald on Facebook. You can reach me, John John of Troop at yahoo.com. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see, at John John One on Instagram, mm-hmm. uh, John John One on Twitter. All right. And, and Rodney. <laughs> Wait, shout out to Rodney. Rory. Rodney. Yeah, Rory did. Yeah, hit yeah, us yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we having a good I'm time? I'm getting texted. Oh, they Rory, couldn't get yeah. through. You guys, yeah, they oh, couldn't get through. I know Rory. Oh, you oh they remember, remember Rory. Rory. But you don't yeah. remember. Okay. But like, also, <laughs> to, to Rob in Chicago, he's been trying to call <laughs> in. But Rob you should have hey, called Rob in earlier, brother. Yeah, we mm-hmm. gave out the calling number. Yeah, y'all. but the line is full right now. He said something was going on with the line. Yeah, the line. Yeah, it's a call. Rodney, what's your social media? We we do have a caller. Rodney? Call on the line. 
Rodney B. I think he, Rodney he gone. Troop or okay, Rodney is Rodney B. gone? Okay, we got a caller on the air. B. Please talk no, to us. No, we don't. Us. Do we? That's, yeah. that's what Richard said. Richard said. Oh, Richard, we have a caller. <laughs> Richard said. I guess Richard we got to need you. My job. Uh, we're right, at the end of our show. Uh, this is Trisha and Ralph. How are you? Where are you coming from and what's your name? Yeah, I'm calling from Los Angeles. Listen, I've been uh, following this group for a long time. Truth. And a uh, matter of fact, I know what truth means. Uh, man, that's how long I've been following. It stands for they rip off other people. You know, I wrote a song <laughs> back in 19. Yo, Ron. Hilarious. Do they really rip off other people? Hilarious. You know they do owe me some money. It's brand new. <laughs> Is this Rodney or Reggie? <laughs> Somebody. I'm, I'm opening. Somebody play. Richard, did you hang up on me? That probably was him. Oh, Richard, let him go. Well, whoever it was, thanks for that tip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will never hey, get to you. <laughs> Remember, spread love, not hate. Let's make they it rip no more off. Rip <laughs> off. No, no, other they rip people. off. Oh, other, other people. people. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how long it took him to, to <laughs> pick it out, right? That's funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got you on call ID. We're going to call you back. <laughs> We're calling you. We're calling you back. You got to remember that one. <laughs> Y'all stop <laughs> ripping people off, all right? Oh, that was uh, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew it. I told you somebody who we knew. We hung up on you. That's right. Rory, Rory, you a Richard fool. Richard was on point. Rory is Richard, a fool. Richard did the right thing. We kids can never do. So you guys don't believe the hype. They do not rip off other people. No. Rory, God. you are going to get it. They yeah. just forget people. That's yeah. all. Yes. <laughs> they forget people. They forget people like me. I guess they're going to uh. forget Rory because Rory. <laughs> all right. So again, thank you. We love you. We love you, Rory. We appreciate Steve and we appreciate Thank John John for coming in for Thank Rodney you. calling in Reggie wherever you are God bless you yes, yes. we love you all for watching and you know pray for everybody out there going through y'all we got to, we got to stick together okay yes, black yes, lives yes. do yes. matter yes. I don't care what you say yes. they really do yeah. God bless you all this is Gospel Rhythms I'm Trisha Man alright Tanya Carbusha is in the house we also have Candace yeah. Candace, Candace yeah. Renee yeah. White who have her radio we show show me any day come all on right. show your beautiful yeah. Yeah. thanks to everybody Wow. Say bye. Say bye, guys. Bye bye, guys. We're in the house. And through Christ, we're empowered to shine. Everybody's VIP. Ain't no way in the line. GospelRhythms.com. We make the world jam. The beat to which we live. We're about to take the land. Let them know about Jesus, the anointed one. Gave us power and authority to get it done. He opens doors, so you don't gotta kick them down. I wrote this to remind you, so stick around. For heaven, for the here on earth, praise God always, and we keeping them first. Cast the rhythm, cast the vision. LA Talk Live and the Talk Live Broadcast Network, original reality radio, and crafted for your listening and viewing pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Stay tuned.